Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I am a cartoonist and an author. I have a bunch of books on drawing cartoons and manga and figure drawing. And I want to show you how to draw this cute little guy today. But I want to show you something interesting about drawing cute little guys or any guy, which is that how do you, how do you turn a character and make sure it looks the same? It's recognizable. A lot of times people can draw it in one angle and they say, how do I, I can't make it look the same. So I'll show you how to do that. First, draw the front angle of the character. Draw it in the front angle. And that's the way most people draw their first you know, version of their character. Now, look at the proportions. We, we get the bottom of the chin, which is right here. We extend the line, that's the bottom of the chin. These are guidelines. It's the bridge of the nose. It goes right across here. These are the only guidelines you really need. The bridge of the nose is where the eyes go, so also ends up being the eye line. Here's the top of the head. And we're going to just put some hair here, like so. Let's get us started. Now, as you can see, the nose is a little lower than the bridge of the nose, the actual nose itself, and we'll, we'll add that in here. This little guy, a little kind of gumdrop nose, like so. And we're going to bring his mouth down. It's a split lip, so that has to come out a little bit. It's a small mouth, a little short mouth. Like so. All right, and we're gonna put those teeth down about here. So we're following the proportions. It's all about following the proportions. Now, he's got a pronounced chin, so what does that mean? He doesn't, this is receding, very recessive chin. So we're gonna to wanna to give him a little bit of a chin here. We're gonna to wanna to add that. There we go. And I'll give him a little fur, why not? I know he doesn't have it here, we'll put it here, we'll put it here. We'll, we'll live on the wild side. Okay, now let's uh, get his eye in gear. I'm gonna leave a couple of shines, because we have them here. Yeah, hang out with you while I fill this in. It'll take one minute. Actually, it won't take a minute, it'll take a few seconds. Okay, I wanna get that really dark. The darker the eye, the more the shine is emphasized. So when you create an eyeball, make sure it's really, really dark. Otherwise the shine is sort of like, eh, not a big deal. But this way it kind of glistens. You have a couple of eye, you know, eyelashes right here. And so we see that the eyebrows are already close to the top of the head, of the eye. So we're gonna keep that same proportion. Now, there's certain things you can't know. You can't know from this, the slope of the forehead. You know from here, the slope of the forehead is going back a little bit. You see how that's angled? Well, that's how it is usually. And the reason is because it's gotta go back because it's gonna have to wrap around. So that's something to remember. But we don't always just go straight back. It's a cute look if you use a little bit of a reverse curve. So we're gonna bump it out here and bump it in here. Now let's see what I just did. I wrapped it around this way and then I wrapped it around this way. And that's called a reverse curve. And you can use that on any character. It's a very cute look. All right, so then we bring this back here and we see that at the, at the edges of the top of the head, that's where the ears go. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna follow our own character as the guide because after all, it's your own character that you wanna know how to draw in other positions. So we use this as the master character. Let me just darken these a little bit. And also his cheeks come out here, as you see, and they're bushy, but they're very low. They're bushy very low. So I'm going to bring this down, because this is straight. Bring this down straight, like so. And I'm gonna bring it out here and make it kind of ruffled. And what, is the, what does that do for us? It gives him cute cheeks. Makes his face wider, it makes him cute. He's got a thick neck, so I'm gonna keep it thick. See how we're, we're noticing what we've done. And I might even give him a little bit of shading right here because he's got it here. Some whiskers, but not on the other side. If you do that, it's strange because he's so profile right here that if you were to put the whiskers on this side, it just would look like, how, how is that possible? It won't, it won't work. Let's give him a little bit of, right here, we have some markings. 
like so. Give him a little more shading under here. And you notice he's got these little, little creases under the eye, and smile creases. So I'm gonna give him a smile crease. And a little more marking here. Hey, I think we got it. There's our guy. So I hope that gives you an idea how you can take any character and you can turn them in, other, in another direction if you follow your own guidelines, your own proportions. Just keep aware and you can do it. Hey, I've got uh, over 100 videos in my backlog. You can just click on videos and see them. I hope you join me again. I hope you check out my book, Cartooning, the Ultimate Character Design Book. And I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.